the impression is that everyone has these experiences and they're all similar. But I want to make clear that everyone doesn't have an experience. And I think that's important because one of the explanations that people would like to say is that, gee, this is the result of a dying brain, and it's entirely a physiologic experience. If you break your leg, I can tell you the physiology. And everyone is going to have a very similar experience, 100%. But the fact is 100% of people who are near death don't have an experience. And if it were purely a physiologic experience, everyone would have it, and they would all be very similar. Well, I want to turn to Kevin now, because you have written a book that basically tries to explain these experiences through uh, physiological means. Yeah, I think using a broken leg is uh, not a, a great parallel here when you're talking about the brain. Uh, that's the orthopedist in you, and I'm a neurologist. <laughs> um, the, there are certainly shared elements because we have shared physiology. We essentially all walk around with the same brain, you know, as a, you know, that's what we share in common with our species. But there are de definitely cultural differences, as Peter pointed out, and there's age-related differences, too. Um, children who have near-death experiences are more likely to see, you know, wizards and castles and Santa Claus, and they're, you know, maybe Jesus, depends on their, their background, than they are to see Elvis, for example. I mean, in fact, uh, Raymond Moody, who wrote a, a book, who coined the term near-death experience, wrote an entire book on people seeing Elvis Presley, you know, <laughs> in their near-death experience. Now, I'd be, actually, one of the questions I want to ask Peter was, um, do the you know, people in the wilds of Papua New Guinea ever see Elvis? And, and my guess is not. You know, my guess is that... I guess he's quite right. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, we are bringing what we have as our life experience to this very dramatic event. And one thing I want to point out with Mary, and I mean, does it really matter what the brain is doing? I mean, the real value for, some, for Mary is how it transformed her and deepened her faith. To, that is really you know, in many ways, the most important thing that we should remember about this. I mean, you know, I had a great meal last night, but do I care what my pancreas was doing at that time? No, I, I enjoyed my meal. Um, so, you know, knowing what the physiologic basis of the experience is doesn't necessarily take away its value. In fact, it doesn't. In many ways, I think it enhances its value. It, you know, as a famous uh, physicist once said, um, it doesn't hurt to know a little the mystery to know a little bit about the mystery.